Hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Pick Brain, here today on Times Now, watching yet another final of Tata Crucible for Campuses 2020. The city is Ahmedabad. One of the early cities where Tata Crucible started in the 16-year journey has been one of those cities which has always managed to be in a national semi-final or a final. That's the consistency of the institutes that you get here but for now, we'll take a look at who's made it to this year's final before we play the Ahmedabad edition of Tata Crucible. We're going to get started with this battle. 26 questions, 50 the value of a right answer. Two attempts allowed on the buzzer. One team qualifies, all eyes on the screen as we celebrate a 4.0 environment with four elements that youngsters at their age should keep in mind and be cognizant about as they enter a corporate world. The first among them, innovation. We celebrate people, brands and companies that have invariably managed to stay ahead of the curve. Here it comes. Starting with the first one, here we go. The Invictus Games is a huge creation. Taking a shot even before I could ask the question. Nirma University, go ahead. So this is uh, basically the games which are for uh, war veterans who have lost basically some part of their limbs. So this was started by Prince Harry. And that's your answer? Yes, Prince Harry. Minus 50. Continuing with the question. The Invictus Games is a concept that was created by Prince Harry. Which brand celebrates these people and sponsors it as a representation of tenacity and ability to stay afloat? On my right is GNLU. Land Rover. Well played for a 50. As we go to the next one on screen. Now, which famous company, largely that grew out of Maharashtra, contributed in many ways to Indian engineering as an ingenious development, is named after this great engineer? On my right, Nirma again. We'll say Kirloskar. Well played. Oh, well played. As we go to the next one, careful overall answer is what matters. Here it comes. <laughs> Table number five, PDPU. Augusta Westland. Minus 50. None on a second attempt. Well, that is William Deloitte. And the overall answer is Monitor Deloitte. Rahul Gandhi happened to be an employee of theirs at a point in time before he decided to take up full-time politics. And uh, professors of Harvard were the ones, including Michael Potter, who created these as six entrepreneurs as a thought process. Very early days in the Ahmedabad final. We'll take a look at the scores on the other side of this break. We'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Ahmedabad final of Tata Crucible for campuses. 
A first look at the scores tells us this story. As we move for the teams to figure out a few answers from the data that we present. Here it comes. Starting with the first one appearing on your screen now. It is a city in the Los Angeles County, California. It's home to renowned TV and movie studios, including Walt Disney and Warner Brothers. The Martial Arts History Museum exhibits weapons and pop culture here. Which place is this that would also remind you of something in the world other than a place? On my right, Nirma University. Anaheim. Minus 50 on Anaheim. Micah. Beverly Hills. Minus 50. The answer I was looking for, Burbank. Burbank is a huge locality in Los Angeles. As we go to the next one on your screen, now. These brothers were identical twins. They have substantial British interests and otherwise as well. In areas like media, retail, property, their names are David and Frederick. They are called the Dash Twins. On table number six, yes? Barclays. Plus 50. You get that light, Micah. As we go to the next one on your screens, question appearing now. He's a famous person from modern statistics in India. On my right, GNLU. Prasanta Chandra Mahalanobis, PC Mahalanobis. Wonderful, plus 50. Oh, well played. On to the next one on your screen now. This man was the head of the Indian Hockey Federation for 15 years. He has a hockey academy. Noel Tata. Pronounce that better for me. Noel Tata. N-O-E-L. Minus 50. Someone's taking a shot at it. Uh, Nirma. You'll say Naval Tata. N-A-V-A-L. Plus 50. <laughs> Plus 50. As we go to the next one on screens, now. When heat is applied to a cool can of soda, it transforms from light, refreshing soft drinks and creates soft tea. First promoted in the 1960s with advertisements like the one on your screen, the entire strategy behind this was to create something where cool soda would be offered to you in a hot form. Therefore, the name. Which drink came about this way? IIM, on my left. Is it iced tea? Minus 50. Minus 50 on iced tea to IIM. Nobody on a second attempt. The answer, hot Dr. Pepper. The first brand which experimented with a cold version and a hot version of their own soda, heat up Dr. Pepper and you get hot Dr. Pepper. And that's how the brand came into existence, popular even to this day. As we go to the next one on your screen, now. Identify this handball champion from 1926. Go ahead. Ripley. Ripley. Yeah. The man who gave the world, Ripley. believe it or not. Lovely. Oh, beautifully played. As we go to the next one, onto your screens, now. Identify this recently launched mascot, which is called Miss Dash. Irma? Mm, we'll say Kurkure. Plus 50. Oh, well played on Kurkure. As we go to the next one on your screens, here it comes. These were called S and S vehicles, initially created by Kawasaki and many others. What did S, X, S, which was actually S and S, stand for? Taking a shot at it, PDPU. Small and simple. Well, minus 50. None trying. The advertising campaigns for these showed two vehicles moving together and therefore they were called side by side. That's why you find a S, X, S. It essentially means you can travel two vehicles side by side and these were the first vehicles which worked on a better axle so that you could actually have two vehicles moving side by side. Tough ones at Ahmedabad making you think 
And here's the next one coming. Here we go. The company's origins as a musical instrument giant is still reflected in the group's logo. On my right is Nirma University. Yamaha. Plus 50. There's the next one coming. And careful. Here we go. Neutrogena was founded in 1930 by Emmanuel. It was originally a cosmetic company named Natone. They're now part of a huge US conglomerate who decided to buy Neutrogena because they were very big in the skincare space. Which giant bought them in 1994? Someone's gone for it on my immediate right is Micah. Johnson & Johnson. Well played. Well played on Johnson & Johnson. As we go to the next one on screen now. It's a legal term that essentially means forestalling a market or fair. It happens when a person monopolizes a market by buying a product wholesale or bulk for the purpose of selling as the only vendor. Buying up goods at wholesale to control supply and then to resale at a much higher resale price. It's a term that starts with the letter A. They're giving it a shot, Amica. A. Yes? Now trying? I think they bust a little thinking, earlier than... We are thinking of holding, but since it starts from A. Minus 50 then to you. A similar term in the world of real estate starts with a E. None on stage. All right. In the real estate, it's called encroachment, where you actually take it. In the world of business, it's abrochment. Abrochment is a concept where you abrogate and then create a new form of a monopoly. And of course, it's illegal in India. But there are places in the world where you can do that. Here's the last one in this segment. Take a look. You got to work the overall answer out. Here it comes. The giving it a shot is Nirma. We will say Apple. Explain. So we only know the company as in they came up with a garment in the 80s or the 90s I think. Late 80s, early 90s. They came up with uh, clothes and that is one of their product lines. Plus 50. Fantastic. A beautiful answer just before we head into a break. Is that taking Nirma University into the lead? We'll tell you on the other side of this break. Stay with us. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching an absolutely riveting final Tata Crucible at Ahmedabad. Crucible Caution tells this story. As we move into the penultimate frontier of our battle to focus on leadership by showing the way. Here it comes. On your screens, the first one coming up. Here it comes now. This is a demonstration that is being made to Pandit Nehru. The other gentleman, importantly, that you can see in the photograph is Homi Baba of the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. What in India was being demonstrated for the first time to the Prime Minister of the country? On my left, I am taking a shot at it. We think it's Param, the supercomputer. The original prototype to what later became India's ingenious supercomputer, plus 50. As we go to the next one on your screens, what is shown specifically on this currency note of India? They're taking a shot is Nirma University. We'll say this is the Sabarmati Ashram. Minus 50. Nobody? The answer I was looking for is the Shalimar Gardens from Kashmir, also known, of course, as the Divane Khas. As we go to the next one, on screen, here we go. He is an extremely keen traveler, 
but he felt that guide books of his time were boring on my right he is the founder of michelin minus 50 he found that these books were outdated therefore he decided to update the shortcomings and wrote what is believed to be the first extensive guide to europe which is famously known as the e f guides who is this nobody the answer that i was looking for is forder's guide final one take a look and you got to figure out the overall answer go ahead jaipur pink panthers explain taika gives them the uniform for jaipur pink panthers okay. that's a scene from pink panther and that's all we could we knew actually and the overall answer is jaipur pink panthers plus 50 oh beautifully played well tenth final here today with six questions to go as we move to the final frontier smart decisions on the go here it comes the round based on this new world acronym of dotg i read out the questions to you or unfold a story you can take a smart decision while i'm reading the story on when you want to stop me nothing appears on your screen so you will rely on my storytelling we start with the first one hands on the buzzer i wrote the first computer program of my life while i was a student at lakeside school it was a computer game that essentially allowed people to play tic tac toe i i am are taking a shot yes is this bill gates plus 50 oh well played Question number 2 hands on the buzzer the concept or idea is said to have originated at the school of salamanca in the 16th century it was further developed into its modern form by gustav cassel in 1918 it's an economic concept which is extremely important in the world today when it comes to economies and economics of nations it is an index to compare goods and services of two countries the concept i i am are taking a shot they're suddenly playing aggressive yes is this the concept of gdp i want a very specific answer uh, so basically it measures the uh, improve uh, improvement of uh, the value of goods and services from one year to the other minus 50 continuing with the question It is an index which essentially asks a person how much money would be needed to purchase the going for it is my car at this stage purchasing power parity it's purchasing power parity they get a plus 50 here's the next one this organization or committee distributes over 90% of its revenue to other organizations that are part of it their aim is simple to promote peace and brotherhood in the world their revenue spikes every 4 years in this world yes the international olympic committee holds the olympics every 4 years makes money distributes it fantastic <laughs> two questions to go hands on the buzzer phenomenal final here today the ingredient for this is largely collected from a place called malappuram in kerala the bigger and darker the ingredient the higher the price extremely sought after in the northern region of india and highly sought after in pakistan the tirur variety of this is known to also have medical properties the wines for this are typically grown in the rainy seasons you get one crop for every monsoon what is being produced where kerala is one of the largest suppliers to northern india and pakistan on my right they're taking a shot at it gnlu uh, black pepper black pepper minus 50 minus 50 to the lawyers on black pepper ladies and gentlemen the answer that i'm looking for beetle leaves for pan well As we go to the final question, 
hands on the buzzer during world war 2 this item was considered as an emergency ration it was given to soldiers to relieve their tensions but in a rationed manner soldiers also used it sometimes when they had flat tires peculiarly enough as a solution they've taken a shot at it nirma university we'll say chewing gum chewing gum chewing gum you got to give me a better answer specific one yeah we'll say wrigley's chewing gums basically was rationed you couldn't take as many as you want you only had this yeah, many yeah, yeah. you could relieve your tension with a chewing gum you could yeah. fix a puncture with a chewing gum yeah. ladies and gentlemen into the next round nirma university oh what a victory what a victory here today if we can take a look at the final scores quickly Please put your hands together to welcome on stage to give away the prizes to our wonderful teams from an institute and a university that has really been a very forthcoming and supportive partner for us at Ahmedabad from Nirma University the director general of the university Dr Anup Singh if you could join us on stage doctor well uh, learning is for life and uh, if you want to master life we have to learn everywhere whether we are inside the classroom or outside the classroom whether we are in the job or outside the job whether we are friends or without friends we have to learn and that is the message and the finishing runner up here today shubham and shashwat iim amdavad the champions arnav and abhinav nirma university Well ladies and gentlemen after that remarkable final at Ahmedabad finishing as champions of the final question is IIMNU the management institute from Nirma University getting past IIM Ahmedabad to win that title and move into the next frontier we will be back with you with yet another city a week from now with yet another set of competitors till then from me pick brain from all of us here at times now you were watching tata crucible good evening and goodbye